Rockin' and rollin' all day long. That's how we do it here on another Taste Along with Adam the Wine Guy. Up to number 84 today. Today we're going to get in Le Duron. Chateau Neuf de Pop, 2005, straight out of France. Really, the south of France, Chateau Neuf de Pop region. Fantastic. was sort of a, the place that the Pope, when he was living in France, in Avignon, would have his summer palace. Hence, the Chateau Neuf, the house of the Pope, if you will. And if you won't, I will. What the heck? Let's get into it. Let's make it happen. Check out the label here. This one, really cool. Um, Chateau Neuf de Pop, a place, not a grape. It's generally a blend. Uh, Syrah, Cinso. And uh, we're going to get this in the glass and get down to business. And as you can check out the bottle here, something really cool. You see the shape here, how, how the bottle kind of goes in. And it, it comes up to this, this point here. Well, this is to sort of insinuate the crown of the Pope. Real traditional. They've been making these wines in these bottles for years. And we're going to get this stuff going. It's a great food wine, an amazing little teeny village, great, great restaurant up at the top, but it's right up next to uh, the Pope's Old Castle. It was one of the best lunches I've ever had in my life. I'll tell you, it was just fantastic. And let's get down to business here. The color we're looking at, you know, it's sort of light, light to medium bodied, right around medium bodied or so. It has a real nice uh, ruby tone to it, real bright, and the nose. I get these bright cherry fruits that are coming through, and definitely, definitely a lot of these sort of real earthy, rocky minerality, all strewn across Chateau Neuf de Pop. They got a couple different soil types. Um, one of them, uh, these these huge, huge rocks that look like if, if you were to throw a big bag of them as far as you could see across a giant field, about three, four feet deep. That's how these rocks are, and they were deposited there uh, by the glaciers in Switzerland. Just fantastic. Let's get this stuff past our lips and let's get down to monkey time. It's monkey time. Let's do it. Super bright. Great acidity on this wine. And I get these like smoky, almost those smoky bacon characteristics that you really want out of a Syrah has a certain little rugged minerality to it, which is real nice. And then these um, cherry and then light berry notes of raspberry. I'm getting that dusty blueberry in here. Um, even hints of, like, cassis. And on the back end, as it keeps unraveling here, I'm getting um, little bits of cocoa as well, which is just delicious. Uh, check it out. And every day, check out AdamTheWineGuy.com. we got a new taste along every day of the week. Thanks for stopping in for number 84, Le Duron. Chateau Neuf de Pop 2005.